Okay, guys, it's 11.06 p.m. on October 13th, 2017, and I just got a link to a video that just totally freaked me out, and let me just give you the background here. This is one of the cars or trucks or something that was in this fire, and you'll notice that the glass here, which has a melting point of between 2,600 and 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? We're talking forge, foundry, furnace temperatures to melt this glass. Glass does not melt on its own, guys. Open air fires do not create this kind of this kind of complete combustion of the materials. All right, I point this out in one of my other videos here, uh, the Snapa California fires. Where did the houses go? I point that out right here, and I'm going to emphasize this one more time because I just got a link to a video on Facebook that proves that I'm right. And this is it's. It, I don't need to be right. I don't even care if I'm right. I'm just going to show you this, you guys. This is not normal. This is the link, okay? This is the link to the video I, I, I just saw. And the reason I'm making this video right now is because you guys need to see. Here's here's the argument right here. Bend, the metal bent. It's like, I don't know. It, it's such a complete and perfect burn. There, there has to be something that bypassed the obligation to have an enclosed space with constant feet of oxygen. Because those are the laws of physics. The laws of physics regulate that, that, that metal does not bend and, and, and melt and that you need a certain enclosed space with constant feet of oxygen to create a furnace. And this is like something has created furnaces out of these buildings. This is not normal. This is not a normal fire, guys. Then I point that out because I was looking at the devastation here where I show, I, I go through and I show you guys that in an open air fire, you, you have peak temperatures and then they drop. And you'll see that if you watch this video, you'll go through and you'll see what I'm pointing out. That in order to get this complete dustification of everything, it, it's something would, it's as if something turned these buildings into a furnace. Okay, because there's, there's, there's laws of physics that have been defied here. And just to back that up, I want you to look at this video that somebody just sent me a link to. This blows my mind, but this proves my point. The craziest thing I've ever seen. All right, this is f***ing rad. There's a fire in Shellville, and it's going straight up the middle of a tree. That is the craziest f***ing thing I've ever seen. It's hollowed out the tree. This is not normal, guys. This is not normal. Now, I will explain one thing to you about how microwaves work, and this is critical. The reason you cannot x-ray a tree, and I don't, I, don't have, I don't have any of the stuff pulled up to show you this, but the reason you can't x-ray a tree is because trees have a dual-density bilayer, which is just a simple way, a complicated way of saying that the bark and the heartwood of the tree are two different densities, and the cylindrical shape makes it so that when the microwave energy or any x-ray or any any um, any electromagnetic frequencies this is why you can't pick up you can't pick up anything on radar in a, in a tr in a wooded area okay because here's what happens unique there's a unique there's a unique dual density bilayer of, of cylindrical shape of the tree so that when the when the electromagnetic energy goes into the tree it it ricochets instead of going straight through it ricochets and then the energy ricochets on the interior of the heartwood. And what happens is that heats up the interior, especially with microwaves. This is why, like, if you look at around your, um, your cell phone towers and you see that there's a lot of branches or a lot of trees that have, um, have like, a saggy bark. I call it, like, a saggy, uh, like, a sock effect. Their bark is kind of, like, shrunk. And a lot of the trees, you'll see the bark is just kind of shedding off the trees. That's what happened when we went from 3G to 4G the uh, in higher intensity of the electromagnetic energy that was being pummeled through the trees on the, on the periphery of the tree cluster, what it did was it, it accelerates the uh, dehydration in the tree because the, the, microwave, the microwave frequency enters into that tree and ricochets instead of going through. That's why you can't take an x-ray of a tree because the, the x-rays don't go through the tree. They ricochet on the interior of the tree, which is why this is so significant. The way these fires burned it's through some sort of an electromagnetic energy that they're pumping through. That's why this tree did not combust on the outside. 
because something that's just how trees work. It's, they don't, you can't get electromagnetic energy to go pass through a tree. So that would make a hundred percent, that would make a hundred percent explanation for why this tree is burning on the inside. Something with a great electromagnetic force. Some, I don't know what frequency they'd have to use. I'm not, I don't know everything about this, but I do know that there's a dual density bilayer and the cylindrical shape makes electromagnetic energy ricochet on the inside of the heart on the tree on the bark. And, and it dehydrates the the heartwood. And and now this is just like a complete over the top example because obviously the tree is, is is burning. But but since this is consistent with the fires here, this is in this is this is not just scorched vegetation here. This is evidence of of military grade acceleration of of, of, of accelerants of, of fire. Okay, this is like what this is like napalm in the year two thousand seventeen. Okay, and don't think that our government doesn't use stuff like napalm and white phosphorus. We do. We have all sorts of different technologies that we can do this crazy crap for. And 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 these the, the, the stuff that we're seeing, gosh, you guys, I'm so I'm so I'm so like blown away by this because that's exactly what we're looking at here. Look at look at this look at this this dust. This this doesn't happen in a normal house fire. These these houses were raised to the ground. I was listening to some video today where one of the recovery dudes was talking about how how the, some of the properties are are no more than two inches deep, and they have to bring in cadaver dogs to go through two inch deep because that's all that's left. Come on, you guys, this you got to wake up. This is something your fellow Americans, your neighbors, you yourself need to wake up because this could be your house next. Whatever they're doing here is 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 on purpose. It's not because down power lines started fires. You guys, this is not this is not normal. This is, this is, this is, um, you guys go through my other videos, okay? Go through the other videos where I go through piece by piece and I show how these things defy the law of physics. And, and now here we have evidence that, that there is something very, very messed up going on here. And because I understand how electromagnetic waves go through trees and what they do, this all has to do with electromagnetic frequency. And this is very, very screwed up. And people really need to start thinking about this.